What is going on my family? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Demetrius. Here we are going to talk about some Mortal Kombat 1. As y'all already know, Mortal Kombat 1 is just days away, probably a week and some change away, something like that. And I just want to get on here and talk about a couple of things involving the characters that I am going to use when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1 and a couple of other things. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, I am aware of the leaks when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1, but like I said, Mortal Kombat 1 is just days away. So these leaks are not really going to hurt. The, it's not going to hurt anything when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1. It, it's not going to hurt anticipation or nothing like that. And the reason that I say that is, is because when it comes to base roster or whatever, when it comes to decisions that NetherRealm has made, Mortal Kombat 1, they have been doing everything right. At least 85% of everything. You feel what I'm saying? They've been doing everything right when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, I've already expressed my opinions. Uh, like the whole cameo system, it's just really something that a lot of us are just going to have to deal with and get used to. At first, like the whole cameo thing, um, I'm really not for it. But it's just one of those things. Like if it's there, it's there. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, it's not going to make me just be like, hey, fuck this. I'm not playing the game. But like the whole cameo thing, it's just something that they just put in. And, you know, we're just going to have to try it out. Like I said, they still aren't saying that if it's optional or not. But in my case, it's the only way that I'm going to be able to play my favorite Mortal Kombat character of all time. And that is Striker. And that's what I want to start out talking about. My dynamic duo is going to be striker and kung lao and i had said this a few days ago on twitter so nobody would get confused striker even though he is a cameo fighter he is my main character in mortal kombat 1 despite the fact that he's a cameo fighter kung lao on the other hand even though he's playable and he's on the base roster he's my secondary character so so nobody will get confused what i'm trying to say right there of course i'm gonna be playing kung lao because he's a playable character but striker is gonna be my main character even though he's a cameo and there's gonna be other characters that i will be using uh reiko obviously because you know everybody knows how crazy i am about reiko being back in the game so reiko is probably going to be that third character that i'm going to try to get good with <laughs> hey, you see what i just did there get good but yeah he's going to be that third character i'm going to try to get good with because you know i haven't played reiko since mortal kombat 4 i know he was in armageddon but there were other characters that i was using in that game because you know striker was in armageddon but Man, I haven't used Reiko in a long time. And of course, he's going to be different, but can't wait. But when it comes down to cameos, um, I will not be using no other cameo character in the game. Because I've already said Striker is my main character and he's my most favorite Mortal Kombat character of all time. So I am not going to be using any of the cameo fighters in this game. I apologize to Cyrax and Sector because I love them too, but this is Striker we talking about. So it doesn't matter which playable character that I'm using, whether it be Kung Lao, Reiko, Ashura, or whoever, Striker is going to be the cameo, plain and simple, throughout Mortal Kombat 1's tenor. You know, Striker has got to be there. You feel what I'm saying? I feel the same way about Striker that I feel about Eddie Gordo. The level of passion when it comes to my main character it's the same so when it comes to the cameos i don't really care striker is going to be my cameo fighter eternally because he's my main character <laughs> but it also seems like striker is not going to be available to us from the start it looks like he's going to have to be unlocked uh via invasion mode or whatever so when mortal kombat 1 does release i'm going to get on that quickly because I need to unlock my main character 
from what it looks like. So that's not going to be a problem. And I also like the fact that uh, Netherrealm gave Striker his original Michael O'Brien look when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1. I am very happy that Netherrealm did that because that is my most favorite version of Striker. Obviously, there's a couple of other versions out there from Striker. I did not like his MK9 look. It was just, I don't know. Even though it was Striker, I played as him. He was my main. But the MK9 look, I didn't necessarily like it. But the Michael O'Brien look, the original Mortal Kombat 3 look Striker, I'm glad that Netherrealm had done this. And when I seen it for the first time, I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the reasons why I'm able to deal with him being a cameo fighter. Just by him having his original Mortal Kombat 3 look, it makes it all worth it, shit. Like I said, damn near, I think that is Michael O'Brien. I think they did kind of uh, sculpt him after him. But I am glad that they did that. And, you know, and the reason that I'm glad, like if you see with the images that I post of Striker, I don't really post no other version of Striker except that version, unless I truly have to. I only post the version of the original uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy Striker because that version is the reason why he became my most favorite Mortal Kombat character of all time. Basic is the best. Like Striker was a basic character. He got criticized for being basic. He got criticized for actually being a Earth Realmer. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand that. Yeah, Mortal Kombat got some other crazy out of over the top characters and shit like that. But hey. Striker was basic. He was an Earth Realmer. Okay. And Striker done got so much criticism over the years, but I don't care. He is still my most favorite character in Mortal Kombat history. I don't care. People can criticize Striker all they fucking want. Another thing that I want to talk about when it comes to uh, Mortal Kombat 1 is Nitara. I'm very happy for Nitara returning in the game. And like I said, when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1's base roster, I had did a video well over a year ago when we thought the game was going to be Mortal Kombat 12. And pretty much almost more than half of the characters that I had in my predictions list are in Mortal Kombat 1. So uh, I am happy about that. I really like how this roster has shaped up. A lot of characters that people wanted, people demanded, and Netherrealm listened. You feel what I'm saying? Shit. Characters like Lee Mei, Ashura, Tanya, you feel what I'm saying? You know, Motaro as a cameo, Reiko, uh, you know, I really was hoping for Kai. I was really hoping they put Kai back into the game. Maybe he may be a DLC, but you know, Kai was one of those characters I was really truly hoping for because Kai is one of those top five characters that I absolutely love. Like if Kai would have been in this game, he would have been number three instead of Reiko, but you know, it's unfortunate Kai did not show up in this game, but like I said, when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1, the roster looks good. This is a good roster. It really is. You feel what I'm saying? I really don't know what they're going to do in the future when it comes to DLC and stuff like that, but you know, we're just going to have to let Netherrealm do their thing because like I said, you know, they score big with what's going on right now with this roster, so you really can't complain. And like I said, happy for Nitara being back into the game. I'm not really sure if... I will put Nitara in my rotation, but I'm glad she's back into the game. You feel what I'm saying? Because Nitara was always that different type of character. You know, she was so different from that of Shokan and Adenians and stuff like that. She's just different. She has her own uniqueness, and that's back. So, uh, very happy for Nitara being back into the game. So, it's going to be one of those things when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1. You know, mixing things up with the cameo fighters, man, combos and all of that. So, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to kind of create things. It, it does look creative. It does look like you can really create things when it comes to your playable character and your cameo. So, that is going to be a fun factor of it. You know, especially online. It's going to be really fun. You know, maybe this might uh, raise the level of event competition when it comes to Mortal Kombat, you know, because one of the things about these type of systems, like the cameo systems, people love to see the combos and shit like that, you know, kind of like Marvel versus Capcom and shit. So that may raise the level of event competition or pro competition when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1, even though I kind of feel like Mortal Kombat is, is very strong in that department with the pro competition 
uh it's and it's growing it's looking like mortal kombat 1 is going to be big it, it's going to be big um like i said it's doing something already that mortal kombat 11 didn't do which is a good thing in itself and of course me like everybody else is wondering what's going to happen at the conclusion of mortal kombat 1 story but i'm not going to talk about that because i want to find out for myself uh, like I said, I just hope nobody out there spoils it for all of us. You know, if people get Mortal Kombat 1 early, man, I just hope they just don't spoil it. Because I really want to know what comes out when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1 story conclusion. I think it's going to be some crazy shit that's going to go down. You know, I've said it before, I did not like the fact that Kronika came back into this game, but we're going to have to deal with that shit. And I just hope it's not no force feed type of shit when it comes to Kronika because, you know, we already dealing with that shit when it comes to Liu Kang. So, like I said, really waiting on what's going to happen at the end of Mortal Kombat 1 story. Can't wait to play that and see what happens at the end. And that's pretty much all I got. Just came on here to rap about Mortal Kombat 1. Let y'all know what characters I'm going to be using. Of course, Striker, Kung Lao. You know, that's going to be it right there. Dynamic duo. My top two most favorite Mortal Kombat characters of all time. You know, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to get Mortal Kombat 1 on first day. Just really depends. You feel what I'm saying? If so, great. If not, your boy will be getting Mortal Kombat 1 regardless of whatever time that it is. But, like I said, when Mortal Kombat 1 is released... I will be ready and I will be getting my dynamic duo ready. Like I said, Striker is probably going to have to be unlocked. So uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about Mortal Kombat 1. If you're going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1, what's going to be y'all team? What's going to be y'all uh, dynamic duo when it comes to main character, sub character, playable character, cameo character? Let me know all that shit. We can get a conversation started. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. I will get back at you in the next video. God bless. Stay safe. I am out. Peace.